Hi, welcome to my how-to guide on how to clean the inlet filters on your washing machine. Now an inlet filter, or an inlet anyway, is basically where you've got the incoming household water and then that also get, goes into your machine. These are the inlets. That's a hot one and that's a cold one. And on them, there are filters. Little bits of dirt are often in your cold water supply and to stop them clogging up the valves or clogging up the, ho ho the, the hoses that connect from the valves to your detergent dispenser or indeed to stop this dirt clogging up the holes within your detergent dispenser they put on these little filters they're on pretty much every single machine going and the process today to get them out will also apply to any of them regardless of what make or model it is it's pretty much the same method of doing it as well as the same method of taking them out and putting them back in this is why the title of this video is simply how to clean your washing machine inlet filters that's it so for demonstration purposes, we're actually taking this 24 year old Bosch washing machine and by the looks of things, it's never been done. The tools that you need are a toothbrush and a pair of long nose pliers and that's it. So taking a look at these filters, you can see these little black dots and that's basically where the dirt's been trapped. The hot water one seems to be pretty clear but we'll take them both out and clean them both so grab your long nose pliers like this and there's always a tiny bit of plastic can you see there it's quite thick it sticks out a bit more it's slightly different between some manufacturers to others but this is where you need to grab hold of uh, so we'll take our pliers around then just pull straight towards you no bending just straight it's also worth noting that of course when carrying out work like this the machine is unplugged in fact this machine isn't even in use but as we can see there is quite a large build up of dirt. We'll just take the other one out. Right, next thing, we'll go over to our sink with our toothbrush. So, run the cold water, or the hot, or a mix of both, it doesn't really matter. Under any tap, take a filter, and then because of the way it's designed, water's supposed to come around here and goes through inwards. So the method is that the brush goes around the inside to push out dirt. What I'm going to try and do is do this. And we're going to take our toothbrush. And as I'm doing that, you can see the dirt goes away. Or you can take, go from the outside and push, brush down or across, just like moves. Don't forget to do the end as well. Now, we're clean. So, back to the machine, where we'll go. Finally, we just need to put these back in. So, your best way, your best bet is just to. That's it. All you gotta do is just line it up to. Sometimes there may be grooves in there, but most of the time it doesn't really matter. Does it even matter how the little plastic 
guy goes. Let's say for this, we're going to have this vertically. It's now in. Push. And we'll do the same for the heart. And push until it stops. And that's it. Now you're ready to go again. Attach electricity. And you can run another wash cycle. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful to do your own at home. And remember, this is part of routine cleaning and maintenance of your machine. You need to do this every couple of years to keep your machine free flowing with water. Remember, if your machine has stopped filling with water and you haven't moved the machine in years, first thing to check are these inlet filters. Sometimes they're clogged up and that'll stop the flow of water. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment if it's actually helped you. Thank you for watching.